today from r slash let's not meet he asked for me by name yes call 911 i've never seen him in my life i was watching my daughter's kids while she and her husband go out of town they have a teenage daughter let's say her name is alissa at 3 a.m i'm awoken up by a weird rustling sound and look out the window and see movement I saw a boy emerge from the bushes on the side of the house. I saw a bike tossed on the lawn that definitely wasn't ours. My first thought was it was a burglar casing houses, but since he looked young and came through on a bike, I figured scaring him straight would be enough for him to decide to head home. I didn't want to ruin a teenager's life by calling the cops straight away, so I went out on the porch, flipped on the lights, and said, "Can I help you?" in my classroom voice. The guy looked surprised, but not nervous. He was wearing a Letterman-style jacket, but once I got a clear view of him in the streetlights, he seemed much older than my granddaughter, gruff, and more wiry than athletic. He walked up closer to the house and said, "Yeah, I'm looking for Alyssa." I gave him a disapproving glare, hoping he'd realize he came looking for a girl late at night, and a grumpy old person answered. It's time to split. I'm thinking what must have happened is Alyssa knew her parents were going out of town, and maybe before she knew I'd be staying over, told a secret older boyfriend to come over. It was late and I was alone with several kids, so I didn't want him coming any closer to the house. I also thought it was weird he came so late and wanted to be sure Alyssa actually wanted to talk to him. So I said, "I'm sorry, who?" He said, "Alyssa, you know." Alyssa last name. This is her house. I thought he knew her full name. They must be at least friends. I said, "You wait here." He started to walk up and I felt a stick burning in my gut. Instinct kicked in. I yelled, "No, stop, freeze." Then readjusted and said, "You stay right there. This is private property. Don't take a step closer. Wait there." I go in and Alyssa is asleep just one room over from where the rustling first occurred and I wake her up and say something to the effect of I don't know what the big deal was to have friends over this time of night but you tell them to go home she has no clue what I'm talking about I say there's a guy outside asking for you confused she gets up and goes to the window she sees him and goes white as a sheet he asked for me yeah by name? Yes. Call the police. I've never seen him in my life. I called 911 immediately, but as I was on the phone with them, Alyssa started tugging at my arm. He's coming up. I had younger kids in the house to think about. So I kept the door latched and pulled it just open enough for the latch and yelled. I asked my husband and none of us know an Alyssa last name. Leave my property or I'm calling 911. He got angry and started yelling for her to come out. Thankfully, the police came pretty quickly. And when he heard the sirens, he grabbed his bike and ran off. I watched where he was running, and he jumped into the passenger side of a car without headlights or front plates and sped off. The police followed in the same direction once I pointed at them, but they didn't get him. They advised us to take all her social media details offline. If she was sure, she didn't know this person. And they'd had a couple similar reports recently and were looking into it. I got a heavy-duty lock and she slept in my room for the remainder of my visit.